Hello everyone in Panel 11 Tarts, and today I am continuing our apartment build. Last time I built a beauty salon, and today I will be adding a yoga studio above it and two apartments, as well as a public toilet. Watch and see how this will turn out. Let's start building! <laughs> In the beauty salon video, someone commented that this building would need a toilet because of the long wait hours when waiting to get a service done, and they're totally correct. So that's what I'm doing right now. I do read your suggestions and find them quite interesting, so if you ever have suggestions, please just write them down below. I wanted this public toilet to be accessible to the disabled as well, so I put a railing for assistance, and reserved quite all the space, just in case someone needs to go there with a carer or a wheelchair. I like making my builds quite realistic. I'm also attempting to make a hand dryer. The problem with these wall trims is that they hide these flat mirrors, which defeats the purpose of mirrors, really. So what I have to do is attach that to a clear basic shape and then move it there myself. You'll notice that I use this technique quite a lot in this video. The design of this public toilet is very minimalistic and clean because this is a private building. Therefore, it technically isn't a public toilet. It is a public toilet, but only for those renting a space in this building complex, if that makes sense. After adding a slip-proof carpet, we are teleporting upstairs where we will build a yoga studio. Many people agreed that a yoga studio would do nicely above the beauty salon, and this design might look a little familiar to you. This was the design of our yoga studio in Mapletown, located in a spa called Keiko Spa and Beauty. But this one is just a franchise of the yoga studio. Another reason why this yoga studio is so fitting in this build is because of the small windows and the minimal natural light that comes in this room. It's a perfect place to put these mirrors on. To get the illusion that these yoga mats are still rolled up, I connected them to a long cylindrical basic shape. And copying the first installment of this business, we must add yoga blocks. I gathered them in a corner just in case anyone needs one. And to achieve that zen look, I like to add more wood than there already is in the form of a ladder. Ladders are not only good for climbing, but also for wall decorations. On this shelf, we have complimentary towels for people to use, but if you do, you have to return them at the end of the class. A big difference between this franchise and the Maple Town Keiko Spy and Beauty franchise is cleanliness. Many yoga participants have complained about an odd smell coming from the studio, and that the towels look kind of crusty. While everyone in Lavender Lane first celebrated after finding out that there's a new yoga studio in town, many customers still choose to travel to Maple Town just so they can go to a cleaner yoga studio. This branch tried to reclaim their reputation by adding a quick facial service to their menu, but customers are still not satisfied. They are forced to sit down on a stool while getting a facial, giving them stiff backs and sore necks. Let's just say business hasn't been going well for this Lavender Lane yoga studio. It is a bad strategy after bad strategy. Despite already having a public toilet customers can use downstairs, this business still wanted to have their own changing rooms. Fair enough. But it would have been also better to invest it in a massage room instead. Just saying. Well, at least the customers have lockers they can put their belongings in. I needed to find a way to alert customers that there is a yoga studio in this building, so I added this sign and honestly, it looks so good. We are starting to look more and more like a real city each day. Before we continue this video, our sponsor for today is Peppy Play. They recently came out with a new game called Peppy Hospital 2. In this game, we can take care of sick patients and even cure them. This interactive hospital roleplay game is also very educational. You can play around with the items in the game and see how that will affect your patients. Let's see if this medicine works. Yes, it does! This patient is now all better! This game also has so much to explore. We can vaccinate our patients, take blood tests, and even experiment in the science lab. Even with all that, there's still so much we can do. This game is truly a medical paradise. You can now download this game for free using the link in the description below or pinned comment. You can also download using this QR code right here. Now let's get back into the video. 
We are moving on to the apartment above. I mentioned before that I made an apartment building in this plot, which is located in front of the Korean barbecue restaurant. Not this one, the first one. Anyways, that apartment is an unfinished project as of right now, but I will be copying the wall color, floor color, and ceiling color because most apartments have that default white paint everywhere. And most of the time, tenants aren't even allowed to paint over these walls. I am adopting that rule in these two apartments that we are doing today but we will do our best to portray the characters that live here without changing the defaults. One thing I noticed other Bloxburg builders do is putting the walls down with the kitchen in mind so they plan out their kitchen and then their other walls later on. Smart idea! I don't do that. I plan out the walls and the layout and forget that I eventually have to put down a kitchen. That's why I'm struggling right now. Realistically, I can't put it against the window. That's just not a thing. So I settled for this corner. If you were wondering a while ago what I meant by defaults, I meant this. The cupboards, the stove, the sink, the counters. These items will also be in the upstairs apartment and they would have to be in the same color. It came with the apartment, basically. The person who lives in this apartment is a freshly graduated high school student. Still a student though because this is also their first year of college. Right now, I want to demonstrate that they live alone and I'm trying to find a dining table that screams, I am alone, but I realized that there isn't one. So I chose a desk instead, which is quite fitting considering she needs to do a lot of studying and she can just eat food where she also studies. This encourages her to multitask. If there's anything I learned about going to university myself, it is that you have to multitask to survive. You must be asking yourself, what is that white and red thing? That, my friend, is a failed version of a cup noodle I invented. Don't worry, it gets better. Or worse. <laughs> Wait, I gave up on creating a cup noodle and decided on a bowl noodle, which had its own complications. I wanted it to have real noodles inside, so I had to resort to finding a decal that has a noodle texture. After that's done, I need to position it in the bowl, but it overflows and not in a good way. It literally does not fit, which made me want to weep. I had no choice but to hide the stray noodles using books and the pen cup. And to distract the viewers from this poorly executed project, I put chopsticks down to divert their attention towards that. I shouldn't have told you that. After that noodle dilemma was solved, I went straight to decorating or clutterifying our apartment. One thing you should know about the girl who lives here is that she would often deny that she is a messy person. She isn't or wasn't a messy person before moving here at least. Because of all the studying she has to do and how every day she gets sidetracked, she doesn't end up ever having the chance to clean her room or apartment, should I say. But in other words, she is me and I am her. But she lives alone and I still live with my parents. You could say that I live in my parents' house rent free. This girl, however, is trying to learn how to live by herself, hence the cookbook and the pot with a dubious soup. Another default item or furniture that comes with this apartment are the showers, toilets, sinks, and mirrors, which I also added in the apartment above. A downside of living in this apartment, I would say, would have to be how they do not have a laundry room or machine. So they do have to do it at a laundromat somewhere or do it manually in a bucket of some sort. And because Miss Girl is kind of lazy, her clothes are everywhere. This may or may not be an accurate representation of my own room right now. Don't judge. This girl does not only have to go to college full time, but she also has a part time job so she can afford this place and her daily needs. She is also currently looking for a second part time job. Hope everything goes her way. She does have the help of her mother who is half sponsoring her apartment right now. But if things continue to be this hard to maintain, she might just move on to a different apartment, a smaller one. This is her bedroom and I tried to decorate it as much as I could without touching the wall color, the floor color, as well as the default covers and vanity. This is just what tenants have to work with in general. Her aesthetic is cute, cluttered, and soft on the eyes, which I love. I also tried making a phone and I tried to make it look like it was charging, which reminds me, 
Locksburg devs, if you can hear me right now, please give us phones, purses, and shoes, please. Thanks in advance. This tenant also has a lot of friends that come and visit and maybe even have sleepovers, though there really isn't much floor space to do so. But she has this auto man in her room for whenever her friends come and visit. And she also has this board of pictures from her road trips from high school and just high school days in general. So sweet. Right now, she is in talks with her friends. If her friend wants to move in, they can form a shared house. But for now, this spare room acts as a storage room. And before we move upstairs to the apartment above, I totally forgot to give her a fridge. This is what I mean by forgetting that I have to put a whole kitchen in here. So I had to just give her a mini fridge. She can't afford the big one anyways. But yeah. Okay, that's it for this apartment. Let's move upstairs. Not gonna lie, this one's layout was so hard to figure out. Again, my fault, I didn't really think of the kitchen space. With this apartment, I had a certain aesthetic in mind, and that is a bachelor pad. You guessed it, the person that lives in this apartment is also a freshman in college, and they are also from a pretty well-off family. And that is why he can afford more expensive furniture and gadgets. Speaking of gadgets, I thought this dude would definitely own a PS5, so I built him one. You're welcome. This character is pretty musically inclined. He isn't a spoiled brat at all. He is pretty smart as well and top of his class even though he just started college. As you can probably tell, he is pretty neat. He doesn't make too much of a mess in the first place. So that's the difference between him and the girl next door. Or should I say downstairs. I feel like this apartment would have been executed better with a different wall color but again, that's against the landlord's rules. We must abide by them. The bathroom of this guy is pretty bare. He only really has his shampoo and body soap, a toothbrush and a toothpaste, basic stuff like that. He doesn't really care too much about skincare and all that. This is his bedroom. I tried to work well with the default items in here already. I don't think it turned out too bad, but I don't think it's in his character's nature to really care about how aesthetic his room is. He's pretty above that. He doesn't enjoy studying, but it doesn't repulse him either. So yeah, he's the type to hand in the assignments way before the due date. But that's just how cool he is. Of course, he isn't totally boring. He has posters of his favorite games and animes. He also loves video games. His second room is dedicated to that. And as a trust fund baby, Trust, he has these expensive collectible limited edition figurines. It's safe to say that this private room of his is a no entry zone. Another hobby of his is arguing with the girl next door. Well, downstairs. See, he is too loud when he's playing video games and she yells at him for that. He just loves pissing her off, though he'd never admit it. I also want to show the difference between their social class. In this economy, this guy upstairs can afford to have his own convertible, while the girl downstairs has a bike. She keeps it locked securely. She really can't afford for it to get stolen. These two neighbors bicker like an old married couple. You might think it's unfair, but the boy upstairs begs to differ. He complains about the burnt smell of her terrible cooking. And he's right. She can't cook to save her life. She tries though, and with that, this building is finished. Come, I'll show you around. Let's do it quick before they come back from their classes. We don't want to get reported for trespassing. Lavender Lane is already looking so pretty. I can't wait until it's full with all of the buildings and all that. But for now, let's focus on this building right here. It's finally finished. These are the cars at the front. They're just there for clutter, really. And the bike, of course. I love how I tied it to the railing. I'm like, no one is going to be able to get a hold of this bike, okay? I will protect it with my life. This is the entrance to the beauty salon, if you've forgotten. And this is the public toilet. I'm so proud of our hand dryer. <laughs> Going outside, we have our trash cans. That goes for all of the businesses we have in this building. This is the yoga studio. This is the facial area, and they just sit there to get the quick facial done. And this is the reception. But you can tell why they get sore backs afterwards. They don't even have anywhere to lean back against. The yoga classes here are actually pretty good. The only thing that isn't really good is the smell of it and the crusty towels. This is the change room area, and I love the lockers. At least I was able to do it a lot better now that we have the transform tool. Last time I made them for the other branch, I had to use structures, and that's why all the doors were kind of wonky. 
Let's go out the balcony of this yoga studio. You can't really see anything from it except maybe get fresh air. But my proudest moment is this sign right here. I just love walking past like city buildings and just seeing these aesthetic signs. Oh, I love it so much. I kind of wish I made one for the apartments though I didn't really know what to call it. Uh, let me know what to call it um, down below actually. Now let's go upstairs. Let's just exit this business over here. Let's go to the girl's apartment. She doesn't have a name. It's just a girl that lives here. And I love her apartment because I feel like this apartment would be mine if I had an apartment. I love her ramen over there. And realistically, she'd be watching Netflix, okay? She is burning, <laughs> nearly burning the house down with her cooking. For her housewarming party, um, her friends gave her flower pots that she actually takes care of. And this is just a storage room. All the stuff, all her clothes that didn't really fit in her main bedroom, they all went there. This is the main bedroom. And though it's a little bit bare, I like it. It's clean. It... No, it's it's not clean. <laughs> um, anyways, moving on. This is the bathroom and yeah, no, I like it. It's very minimalistic and cluttered at the same time. It's that perfect amount of clutter and perfect amount of cleanliness, you know? Moving to the boys' apartment. With this one, I was more thinking about the characters in general, okay? I was trying to form a love story in my head so i was like okay well the boy kind of makes noises upstairs you know with his video games and stuff like that and it annoys the girl and the girl downstairs makes like terrible cooking and it smells really bad it, the whole like apartment complex like smells of it and it pisses the boy off and there's this whole like bickering thing that goes on like the girl's like turn that down and then the boy's like well i'll turn it down when you stop gassing the whole apartment complex with your cooking rom-coms am i right i live for them this is the boy's bedroom and honestly i wanted him to be humble like rich you know millionaire father but humble hates his like parents you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> k-drama vibes bro okay that's all i wanted to really go for and he has amazing view look at that imagine looking out from this point when everything's already finished in Lavender Lane. It's gonna look so epic, bro. And I think that's the end of this video. Let me know what to make next time. I will be reading the comments. And yeah, I'll see you next time.